Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to create a switch user shortcut on your taskbar, on your desktop, on your start menu, wherever you want it to be. So normally when you want to switch users, you have to click on start, click on your username, click on the ellipsis here, and then pick the user, or sign out, and then switch the user. But let's say you just want to be able to switch a user really quickly to one of your other users without signing out, you could try this shortcut. All right, so here is the path we're going to use for the shortcut. So I've noticed that sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And if it doesn't work, if it can't find this file, then you could actually put this file in the system32 directory and then it will work. So I'll include a link to the executable here in the description so you can download it if it doesn't work for you. All right, so I'm going to copy this. I'm just going to put a shortcut on the desktop for now. So right click, new shortcut, paste it in. Click on next, call this switch user, and finish. So now if you want to change the icon for it, you can right click on it, go to properties, change icon. So you might get a message like this saying you can't find any icons, but that's fine. You could just click OK and then it will show you some of the other icons. So then you can kind of look for something that might fit the shortcut here, like a user account, you know, maybe something like this right here. Or even something like this, but I have my own icon here, so I'll browse to that. Click OK, and then OK. So there's my switch user. Now I could either leave it on the desktop, right click it, pin it to start, drag it to the taskbar if I want to make a shortcut. So now when I click on it, watch what happens. It takes you back out to the login screen, and then you can pick another user. So this will keep your current account logged in and you could just switch another user and then come back to what you were doing on your first account here. So it's not going to log off the account that you run it on, it's just going to switch to a different account. So we could go back in here if we want and you can see we're exactly where we left off. Alright, so once again make a shortcut with this path here which I'll put in the description and like I said I'll put a link in the description with this file then I'll also include this icon file if you want to use that yourself. And you know right away if it's not going to work if it can't find this file because it'll tell you that it can't find the file and you'll have to just copy it into the system32 folder and you will need admin rights to do that. Alright, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.